What's up guys? We are back again for another installment of Toy Bros Top 10 Figures of 2017. It is now July, so we are through the second quarter, which means we need to reevaluate the list and weed out anything that needs to go, add some new stuff. So this is everything from the previous list, minus the Playmates Voltron. He, one, isn't going to fit, and he's not going to make the list going forward. And then it has everything else that I can think of that I bought this quarter. So, like I said, I, it's only what I can think of that I bought. I know there might be a few other stragglers, but if I can't think of them offhand, they obviously don't belong on this list. So we've got our previous top nine, I guess, here. And we'll go over those real quick. We've got the Funko Reaction Gartham, the SH Figure Arts Tank Commander, Marvel Legends Shatterstar, Marvel Legends Movie Yondu, uh, Black Series Resculpt Vader, SH Figure Arts Han, Premium Format Cell Figure Arts, Old Man Logan, and Angela there. So let's take a look and see what we can weed out and get a new current top 10. All right, so there are a few things off to the side here that you may not be able to see. Uh, you know, I'll move them in and out as I, as I need to. Cramped quarters because we've just got so much stuff. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of changes in terms of what came out in the last quarter. A lot of Star Wars stuff came out thanks to the... Uh, 40th anniversary, you can see we've got the Celebration Luke back there, and there's a few new faces here. A lot of new Marvel Legends came out, and then there were a few other random figures that came out as well. You'll see there's a relatively big figure back here, which I'm sure if you saw the review of that guy, you know that he's guaranteed to be on the list. So let's start pulling things out. Uh, I'm going to say right off the bat, the SH Figure Arts Tank Commander is going. He is a cool figure, but he's not going to. he's just not going to make it anymore based on some new stuff that I've gotten. The Death Squad Commander, cool figure, good troop builder, good kind of generic background guy, but he's not cool enough to make the list. Uh, we've got the Adam Warlock figure here as the Magus. He's not going to make it either. Again, a cool figure. He's just not top 10 material for me. We have got the Jawa. He might stick around for a little bit, maybe. We'll put him back down. We've got R5-D4, GameStop exclusive Black Series, uh, part of the 40th anniversary. He's going. I mean, come on, he's not going to make the list. Um, let's see, what else we got? We have got uh, Old Man Logan. I actually am going to remove him. I don't think he's going to make the cut going forward. Uh, Lonnie Lincoln, Tombstone. He is definitely not because of this, all this wobbly stuff that he does. Vader is absolutely staying. SH Figure Arts Han is staying. SH Figure Arts Anakin is staying as well. Um, well. No matter what you think about him, I like Anakin. I like that figure. Uh, Yondu is going to go just because he's kind of outstayed as welcome for me. I do like the figure. He is very cool. But I don't do movie figures, and as, as cool as I liked him, as much as I liked him when I first got him, it's kind of uh, cool for me. The Funko Reaction Gartham, he's going to stick around. Qui-Gon is going to go. He's not top 10 material, but he is a cool Black Series figure. We've got the uh, Peter Parker, Mary Jane 2-pack. I kind of ran in and raved about this because they're both really good figures, but, I mean, this isn't going to do it for me. Shatterstar is going to stick around. We've got Figure Arts Chewy. Um, he's cool, but I, I just don't want him in my list. He's ultimately not going to make it. I know there's stuff at the end of the year that's going to kind of outweigh him. We do have our Celebration Luke back here. He's just kind of a placeholder for the series in general. I think I'm going to ultimately have to do kind of an honorable mention for them. Um, you know, there's a handful of new figures, but people have really responded to the line. I like it. I like the packaging. I hate the distribution. So I'm, not, I'm probably not going to put the whole line in. Maybe keep it around as an honorable mention. Mm. Uh, Sue Storm, she is going. Sue Richards, whatever the hell you want to call her right now. She's going Lando. Lando? No, he's going. Tuscan Raider. He is going to move moved up here for a minute. We got the new Colossus. He's a cool figure. I mean, I like Colossus. But he's going. We have got Jim Lee Cyclops. My favorite Cyclops, personally. He's awesome looking, but he's not... I mean, he's just not blowing my mind as a figure. Um... He doesn't beat Shatterstar out of that wave for me, so that really does it. Not to mention he's got this stupid-ass straps that, you know, if you look at them the wrong way, they fall down. Um, the Cyclops Dark Phoenix 2-pack, eh, maybe reevaluate that one. X Nihilo, he is definitely going. He's cool, but he's a glob of gold plastic. I mean, no. 
Cell, I have yet to make up my mind on. You know, I bought him. He made my list immediately because I've wanted Cell for so long. But I never actually reviewed him. I've never gotten around to actually doing anything with him. So that might say enough. Royal Guard's going to stick around for a second. This is Raphael here, obviously. He just doesn't fit in frame. He is, he is staying. He's He might be number one. Uh, the Horde Trooper. Oh, well. Horde Trooper strikes again. Let's pick some of these guys up. So this is the single-carded uh, Matty Collector Motu Classics Horde Trooper that was kind of a, a myth for so long. He is going to stick around. I'm going to knock Vader's lightsaber out. He's going to stick around because I've wanted a Horde Trooper for so long. You know, everybody wants him. That's head two. I really like this guy. So let me move him over here for a minute. White Ranger, he's gone. These legacy figures are okay. They don't do anything against my figure arts, though. And at the end of the day, they're not the greatest figures. So he's definitely not going to make it. So what do we have? We've got one, two, three, four, seven, ten, fourteen, fifteen. That's obviously too many. And this guy's going to be honorable mention. So, well, not fifteen. These two are one. They're going to go. Um, I like them. I think they're really good, but at the end of the day, they're not going to be my top ten. And ultimately, my top ten does not need to be a whole list full of Marvel Legends or Black Series. Uh, there are better figures out there, obviously. The jaw was going to go. If we're going to pick one from the new batch of figures, the Tusken Raider gets it by far uh, in terms of the 40th anniversary figures. And then the Emperor's Royal Guard is something I've wanted for a very, very long time. So, one, two, three... Let me just break them all while we're here. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 12. So we're going to pull out... Hmm. We're going to pull out Death's Head 2. I was almost going to pull out Angela, but she's still such a good figure. I really, really, really like that one. So that takes us down to 11. Raphael has to stay. I'm going to pull out Cell for the time being. I don't think he's going to make it back. We've got some amazing Dragon Ball Z figure arts coming. We've got Tien, Tien we've got Yamcha, we've got the, the Dragon, we've got Shenron coming, Kid Goku's apparently coming. So I think I'll take a second, reevaluate, but we might have our 10 right here. Alright, so I think I've got my top 10 for now. So we've got the Gartham, Vader, and I'm going to do Vader specifically by himself because this is this doesn't need to be part of the 40th anniversary as far as I'm concerned. It is the best part of the 40th anniversary is getting him in this new amazing sculpt. He stands apart. So the 40th anniversary carded as a set, I'm going to do an honorable mention unless I change my mind down the road. For now, they need to be kind of represented, but Vader stands alone. Tusken Raider, amazing figure. They did a great job with the sculpt, with the articulation, with the soft goods, the whole deal. We've got Figure Arts Anakin. You know, a lot of people don't seem to really care for this figure, don't think he's as good as I think he is, but I really like him. I, I enjoy the figure. I think he displays well. So I like him for now. We've got Han because, I mean, look at him. Angela, she still holds up as one of my favorite Marvel Legends. Single-carded Horde Trooper from Mattel. He's probably just going to be a placeholder for more Motu stuff. I was really hoping Super 7 would have delivered the Ultimates by now. They are coming very soon, so it's quite likely they're probably going to take over the next video, or at least the entire wave will be one. And then they've got more figures coming out at the end of the year, which look very promising. So the Horror Trooper is one I wanted for a very long time, and I'm glad to have a Motu Classics represented here. The em Emperor's Royal Guard behind Vader is definitely one of my favorite figures in recent memory. He's awesome. The sculpt underneath that soft goods cape is amazing, so he's really cool. Shatterstar, um, he might not really deserve to be on this list. There's nothing crazy about him in terms of, you know, making him special, but he is special to me. Love the character, and he's a good figure, so, you know, it's my, my list, and he's going to be on it, at least for now. And then the final figure is that big guy right there. So, there's a good chance that come the end of the year, because I've got Leo on the way, it's going to be Raph, Leo, and Mikey culminating the top spot. So they'll all be one. I'm not going to give them one, two, and three. But there, there's almost nothing that's going to beat these two unless 
you know, there's some crazy figure art that comes out, you know, Shenron maybe, uh, could be really, really wild. We'll, we'll, you know, only time will tell on that one. And I'm waiting to see what Super 7 has, but for now, I think I've got a really solid list. Gartham might go at one point, but he holds a special place for me as well in the same way that Shatterstar does, so that he, despite him being a big glob of plastic for the most part, I mean, he's a big beetle crab thing. You can't go wrong with him. So that's going to do it for this list for now. I will see you all again at the end of the third quarter, so end of September or beginning of October, and we will reevaluate this list once again. Let me know down in the comments, do you think I am an idiot? Uh, what is wrong with my list? What could I have fixed? Was my list better before I removed all this stuff from last time? Let me know. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and until next time.